Hello and welcome Cancer to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of this, of course, because it is Spirit speaking directly to your situation. So let's take a look at your first card here and it's nature's magic and we'll take one more card as well, which is about planting a tree. So first of all, we have the theme of nature. So being out in nature, if you can, if the weather permits, you know, if you're in a good environment like this where you're able to get out, you go walking or just be in nature, meditating, just enjoying being in the natural world. I'm seeing here this is important. I'm also seeing that someone here might be actually training to be um, to be someone to be a specialist in um, a natural field. OK, so I'm also seeing that. Um, so there's a beautiful connection here also with your pets. Um, there might be a focus on pets and pot plants as well okay so pot plants or gardening also is coming into focus for someone nature's magic maybe you're actually working with uh, magic or na the natural world to create magic in your life maybe even doing spells okay working on spells and magic as well could uh, resonate for you in that way now planting a tree you might actually literally be planting a tree um, but I'm also seeing symbolically this is about um, having fertile ground at the moment in your life and being able to uh, make some changes if you want to. A big change is coming if you want it to. Okay, you're going to have to put in some kind of action. You're going to have to plant the tree. You're going to have to take the steps needing to take that you're needing to take and a kind of no more delay is what I'm being told by spirit no more delay on this so you can get um, this tree planted and so it can start to bear fruit for you okay so place that energy in your life how it fits so let's see what this deck reveals for you guidance for cancer please spirit okay All right, so we have a magician and the mirror. So the magician, of course, is about being able to manifest, being able to create your reality, manifest someone into your life or a situation. The law of attraction is working here for you. Mm, that's what I'm seeing. So quite a magical energy. Um, manifestation ability that you have over the next seven days, especially. Mm, okay. I'm also being told as if by magic something is going to happen. Okay, meaning synchronicity will take place. You'll be at the right place at the right time. Patience is also needed. So there's something that you have been waiting on. You've had to be patient for it. Divine timing is definitely coming into play in this situation. Divine timing is definitely going to be playing a big part this one here wants to come out guidance for cancer please spirit and this one here so what do we have here we've got you were born to create so that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense with the energy here of the magician energy nature's magic so magic creation you were born to create a new manifestation at the moment, which is about you planting the tree, about the fertile soil. There's growth development that it can take place if you take some kind of action over the next seven days. Also a wonderful energy for actually being an artist or creating in this um, artistic way as well. Yeah, I like it. And this card here is change is unavoidable. So there is definitely a big change coming. That's what I was feeling earlier in the read for you. This is nothing to be afraid of. This is nothing to be fearful of at all. It is unavoidable. It's something that needs to happen. 
So you can, in fact, create something better for yourself. So spirit can work in your life. God can work in your life and create something much better for you than what you already have. You'll be amazed at the circumstances that come about. A spirit is saying, hmm. Okay, then. So let's see, Cancer. Be authentic. Someone is not being authentic. Is this you or is it someone that you are dealing with and have in your life at the moment that you're communicating with? Someone needs to be more authentic. Well, spirit is calling you to be more authentic, but I also do see there might be someone in your life that's not being very authentic. So it's something to be aware of. You may know straight away who this person is. Yeah, there's definitely a connection with this person. Um, it's someone that you communicate with daily. It might be a co-worker, it might be your partner. Mm. But you can't have this give and receive. You can't have this energy, this balanced energy between you in a relationship if one of you is not authentic. That's the key here. All right, let's see what this deck reveals. Okay, this card here is a Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, you can see on this image here that you are, you know, hard work. Hard work has gone into something and now you are waiting. Now it's the waiting game. So very much going back to the energy of patience is needed. You might feel that you're at a crossroads at the moment. I do get that feeling for some. You're at a crossroads. You've done all this hard work. Things are paying off for you or they will pay off for you. There definitely will be an abundance, a cornucopia. There will be a bountiful harvest for you. It's just a matter of timing. There might be some upset emotions. You might be feeling emotional over the next seven days and this might be to do with a child or you've got children here okay they were grandchildren there might be something emotional going on with them mm, but there's upset disappointment loss they might be grieving perhaps or contemplation you know you've got your head in your hand here you're thinking about things there could be a melancholy energy going on mm. Okay. Justice. This is a Libra, so you may have a Libra in your life. And justice is about bringing things into balance. So if things are not in balance and you're feeling it emotionally, with justice, you'll have the ability in some way, shape, or form to bring a closure, to bring a balance, for fairness to come into play. Of course, justice is anything to do with um, anything official, anything that to do with the law or, or any official documentation. The guide. Okay, this is Sagittarius's card. You may have a Sagittarius in your life. And this energy is about balance as well. And about kind of coming up with and understanding both sides of the story creating a win-win for everyone involved. You've got a beautiful angelic presence over the situation as well. They want you to know about that. The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. It is one. It is number one. So it's a new beginning. Going back to the planting of a tree here, a new beginning. Uh, the tree is earth energy. Maybe there's a new beginning with an earth sign. Maybe an offer of work or more stability financially or health-wise is also indicated, can be indicated with this card. Mm. And the Two of Cups, becoming closer to some something or someone that you love or that you desire. Two people kind of seeing the same vision. So it does look like maybe a reconciliation or a win-win is going to come into play. This might be, you know, romance for you, but place this energy where it fits as well. You know, we've got this energy here of, you know, looking at the given the take in a relationship dynamic and someone's not being authentic, but it does look like, you know, with this two of cups, 
you can come out together. There is a reconciliation or something like this happening from what I can see. Let's take a look now at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you can think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition, see if this resonates for you or not. You can trust your own intuition with this and if it's right for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.